If I were in the Bahamas, I'd simply say, good Lord, good food, let's eat. <laughs> but since I am in Canada, I'll be a little civil. <laughs> I'd say a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we give you thanks again for this day and for all the blessings you have given us. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us to this day and to this place. We thank you for what you have done so far. And so, Lord, as we meet here to celebrate and to feast and to enjoy this meal, I ask your blessing upon everything. Dina, me and Dina are very close. And Dina knows. Education was first. She said, Dad, I have a boyfriend? What? A boyfriend what? <laughs> are you out of school yet? No. How can you have a boyfriend? <laughs> so, that was our deal. She ain't allowed to have no boyfriends. Top, after, top education is done. Now, Jay comes. I see you. I'm trying to size him up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm saying, yeah, what's going on here? Jay, he's cool. You know, he's cool. I said, oh, okay. Let's check it. Next time he come back, he's still cool. <laughs> Come back again. He's still cool. <laughs> but he's respectful. He's very respectful. So what I see when picture going around here with Jade with a pretty girl. I said, you sure it's Jade? He said, Ma. I said, yes, <laughs> it's Jade. And Jade, let me tell you, Jade is a real cox. <laughs> Jade, in a skillful way, inter introduced Adina to us, not in a dramatic way, but in a very, very subtle way. I said to him, this girl you, you say you like, what is she like? I said, now you know your family background, you know you're a family, uh, you come from a family, a home that is family oriented. How is she? Jay said, hey, daddy. <laughs> he said, daddy, now you know, I know what to look for. He said to me, he said to us, she is just like us. She is from a family that is family oriented. And when she came to the Bahamas, as soon as I laid my eyes on her, I said to myself, mm-hmm. <laughs> this boy doesn't only have good sense, he has good taste. Mr. and Mrs. Cox, Paula and Dennis, you should be so proud of your babies. They have allowed God to order their steps. And look what has taken place today. As a result of your obedience to God, you're joined together in holy matrimony. What a beautiful couple. Not only in your looks, but your personalities as well. Jade, 
you certainly paid attention to the example laid out by your parents. It is very evident that you love Adina, but much more than that, you respect her. I, Jade Roden Cox, take you, Adina Lee Brown, to be my wife. I, Adina Lee Brown, take you, Jade Rodon Cox, to be my husband. I remember when uh, Jade wanted to go get the en engagement ring and we were in the mall and I just remember talking to Jade, I said, you sure? He said, she's worth it and so much more. Nadine was born, she was cute, she was cuddly and her grandfather Reuben, Adina used to call him Big Bear. I don't know why, he said, I don't know why Adina called me a Big Bear, he said, do I look like a bear, he said. He let her get away with everything, so, <laughs> so here he is, and we're gonna light him up, I think. Never even thought that she would ever even get married, because she was such a focused young girl. Um, going through school, high school, she was always that person who was always willing to help, very dedicated. Dina used to go to university and I would go pick her up. I always always see her with some girls and a couple guys. And I paid no attention. And then uh, she said, I'm going to see Jade. And I thought Jade, she was, was one of her girlfriends. And I said, okay. And then I picked her up. <laughs> then, then I picked her up again and I seen her talking to this, this gentleman. I said, and she got my, I said, that's look like a nice young guy. And she said, oh, that's Jade. I said, is that right? She said, I'll formally introduce you when I get some time. But one thing she did tell me, she said, Mom, I'm not messing this up. I'm not messing this up. <laughs> so Jade, you must have made some impression on her. She walked past me. And I was, I don't know, just brave that night. And I said, I'm going to say anything to her, and I don't care if she can understand it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in the strongest Bahamian dialect I could possibly can. <laughs> and I said, I pulled her hand and I said, I ain't gonna lie, Dred. <laughs> <laughs> you have the most beautiful eyes I ever seen, you know. So I thought she wasn't gonna uh, uh, understand me. So I was kind of like hiding behind that. And she said, oh really? My brother teases my eyes all the time. <laughs> And from that day, we hit it off, and oh, that was just a godsend. I was there at the right place, at the right time, with the right words. I heard them mention before about how she was a bit rebellious, which is we all are, and how she kind of came into herself after she met Jade. But I have to say, I have to vouch for her in high school because I could tell early on her stock in her moral values. And again, how we became friends was by her being a friend to me before we even became friends. They have set such an example for young Christian couples in the decisions that they have made and the steps that they have taken. And I truly admire the both of you all. I look up to you both and I wish you nothing but love and happiness. I remember I, I went inside of the fridge, I got some ice, and I went inside of the, the fridge and I got some water. And I had just taken the bread and I left the, the bread on the counter. But I, I was coming back to the Brita, and, and, and out of nowhere I heard, you gonna refill that? <laughs> I knew it was gonna last when Dina started cooking. <laughs> I mean, I, you guys can see Jade, you know it takes a lot to fuel that. I'm not much of a public speaker. Thank God for this cup of Remy. Congratulations to you both. I wish you all nothing but the best. Whatever you got in your glass, I want you to finish it. Cause we doing it for Jade and Dina. We got it down the hatch because they did it for us. They invited us into their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys like pouring big drinks. We been drinking big drinks. You know I'm toasting. 
down. I don't want to hear no notes. This is yeah. Those of you who have had the time to get to know Jay, you'll know that he's a level-headed, determined man of God. And believe me when I say this, that has a lot to do with his upbringing. I've never been sure about two persons staying together and forming a union such as this. So I don't know if you guys know this about Adina, but Adina used to throw the most poppin' parties. <laughs> Some, I'm a woman of many words, but when it comes to Dina, I'm a woman of few because I'm always lost for words when it comes to her. I just want to say thank you for everything. The, the friend that I am, the mother that I am, everything that I am today is because of you. And if it wasn't for you holding me down, I don't know where. Jade, you are a very loving, humble, strong, and very gentleman. You show so much love and respect to Adina, and I truly admire you for that. I have grown to love you as my own grandchild. talked about what this special day would entail and to say that I am happy for you is an understatement because you've really found your soulmate in Jade the man that you always prayed for you always prayed to God for a godly man someone who would be there for you and I'm so happy that you found somebody and I'm so blessed to have shared in your love journey with Jade The wedding is done. Like, get over it. Now it's marriage time. That's what we're here for. All right? Bless up. Yeah.